Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, I'm James I'm Adam. and yeah, we're here today to give you guys our preview for the QPR game It must have been a long time since we've sat down and done a preview of the international break and we forgot about, uh, I think it was Brent, no, do we, I can't I think remember Brent, we didn't have much time No, no Derby, that's it, Derby, we uh, wasn't able to do that as we, well, well quite busy But um, yeah, we're here today to give you guys the QPR preview, obviously I'm going to be going, you're not Yeah, um, I'm not going to QPR I'm just, yeah. I don't want to go do but I'm still going. Um, but yeah, obviously we're going to be there. Obviously the awareness will be as usual. Katie's coming with me again. So I once again probably get her score prediction. Uh, but yeah, we're obviously we're here today to preview the game for you guys. Starting 11 and, uh, well, prediction and all things like that. But uh, yeah, in goal I'm going to go with Ali Al Habsi. Obviously he's been our star. Really one of our star memory this season. I think he's played quite well uh, in the goalkeeper role. Obviously he's been quite vital in us getting up to that 8th, 7th place. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with Al Habsi. Yeah, I'm going to go with Ali Habsi as well. Um... Yeah, no need to drop him. Uh, he's doing not. He's doing right to be fair this season. So yeah, I'm going to Ali Absi. Could potentially be a contender for player of the season if he keeps up this way. Yeah. Uh, going to the right back position, I'm going to go with Chris Gunter. Uh, he was actually quite dodgy for Wales, which is a little bit surprised. Maybe he could have cared more about Reading now than <laughs> Wales. Uh, nah, it's never going to happen. But um, yeah, I mean, Gunter, he's been playing all right so far. So uh, yeah, I'm just keep him in the right back. Yeah, I'm going to go with Gunter as well. Um, not too much about the same thing about you, really. But yeah, Chris Gunter. Centre so back's going to go with the pairing of Liam Moore and Paul McShane. I mean, why fix what's not broken? Um, yeah, keep them two there. Obviously, I don't want Paul drifting out up front. Like, sometimes he tries to just drift out. Keep him centre back. Let's just leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to go Paul McShane and Liam Moore. Best partnership we have in the centre backs. We've had it and for a while as well. So, yeah, Paul McShane and Liam Moore. Left back, going to go with Jordan Obita. Um, I don't know. Usually I'd stick Tyler Blackett in there. I don't know. I just feel like Obita's been playing well recently. Actually, I'm scrap that. I'm putting Tyler Blackett in. Like, I just think of Jordan Obita defensively. Um, yeah, Tyler Blackett, obviously, he's more of an away defender while Obita is a home one. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put, and obviously, Blackett's suspension's now up. Uh, it's finished. So, yeah, Blackett in there. I'm going to stick Jordan Obita in there. Um, don't really think you know, have to drop him, really. Uh, he's been playing well recently, so I'm going to put Jordan Obita in there. CDM, I'm going to go with Joey Vandenberg. I'm not going to change that. I mean, I'm probably Joey's number one fan right now. Uh, I mean, he's absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah. Keep Joey in there. Uh, I'm going to say George Evans, considering you know he got a goal uh, against Derby. So um, yeah, I'm going to put George Evans in there. Centre mid's going to go with Danny Williams, and I'm also going to go with I can't even remember who our centre mids are now. John Swift. John Swift. There we go. Danny Williams and John Swift. How could I forget that? <laughs> How could I forget that? John Swift and Danny Williams in the centre mids. Swift, he scored a goal in uh, the England under-21s game as well yesterday. How could I forget that as well? He scored uh, for England under-21s. And Danny Williams, obviously, he's one of our better players as well. Um, yeah, stick them to the centre mid. Yeah, I'm going to go the same as well. Um, you know, we've got pro uh, um, three midfielders we usually have anyway. So, you know, Williams, John Swift and everything. Always in the side lineup, so I'm going to go with them. Right wing, going to go with Gareth McCleary. I never take McCleary out of the side because... McCleary is one of our best players. Probably him and Swift so far this season have been contending for player of the season. Probably edging more towards Swift just because he just didn't get a red card. Um, so yeah, go with you, McCleary. Yeah, I'm going to go with McCleary as well. Um, you see, yeah, our size is pretty similar, but uh, McCleary right wing, um, just come back for a red card. Uh, for a red card, he played fantastic. Uh, did he play against Derby? He did. Yeah, he played against Derby. I think he came off at one point as well because he yeah. looks a little bit looks a little bit sluggish, but. Yeah, I'm still going to put McCleary in there. Left wing, Roy Beerins. A lot of people were complain about Beerins recently. Oh, he's got no end product. Why would he have played two games for Holland if he had no end product? Um, they didn't have a left wing. What? What with Robin there, yeah. <laughs> right wing, Why? Yeah. What, Eddie? Uh, loads of people like that. Um, also, why would we pay, what, like 700 grand for Roy Beerins if he had no end product? No, obviously, we brought him for a reason. People just complaining about silly things. Um, yeah, put Roy Beerins left wing. Yeah, I'm going to put Beerens in there as well. Um, yeah, he's a, I think he's played fantastic. Uh, I just slayed him start. I'm not going to lie, I just slayed him. Uh, saying Heavily. Tried to beat, yeah, saying he tried to beat his man too many times. But I think, you know, he's got that out, he out of his system now. Uh, yeah, not afraid to shoot anymore. Actually, I'm going to put Roy Beerens in there. Strike and go with Jan Kermigan. He's looked a little bit more impressive recently. Obviously, Jan Kermigan's there to do a job on purpose. And... A lot of people complain because, oh, he doesn't score, he doesn't score. He's there to do the job of win flick-ons and do three different things like that. He's not there. Man. He's not there, though, to be, oh, let's get him 500 goals a season. He's there to do the job of the target man, to flick it on, to win balls in the air. And when do you see Jan Kermigut not win a ball in the air? Maybe once or twice a game? He 
Apart from that, he wins it every single time in the air. Yang Kermigan is the man to start up front for me. I'll be impressed with Disco 500 goals, but um, yeah, I'm going to put Yang Kermigan in there as well. Uh, as you said, you know, he's great at winning headers, uh, flick ons, etc. Hasn't just got, he hasn't quite got that finishing uh, done with yet, but um, yeah, once he starts getting goals, I reckon you know, they'll start coming in. So yeah. So finally, going on to uh, well, who you think will come on maybe and make an impact? Maybe Callum Harriet might make an impact. Yeah. I don't know. He hasn't really impressed me that much recently. Dominic um, Samuel, don't know if he'd be on the bench at all. I mean, he didn't even score against Portsmouth, yeah. and he had loads of chances. Like at the start of the season, uh, my hope, my hopes were so high for Big Dom, but now it's not even going to bother. <laughs> Um, but yeah, finally going on to the score prediction, obviously we'll do this in uh, cahoots with a Tyler Stend. Obviously there'll be a separate video where we need you guys to put your predictions. Um, but for this video, we want you guys to put your team sheet down in the comment section. So obviously um, what you reckon will be at the starting 11. Uh, but yeah, going into the score prediction, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Reading. I don't know, um, QPR obviously haven't been on good form recently. They've got one win in their last five or six. It's not really the best, is it? Um, yeah, going to go with a 1-0 win and I'm going to go with a cheeky Paul McShane goal. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with um, Paul McShane. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fair play. But uh, I'm going to go with a 2 0 Reading. Uh, I'm going to say first goal score, Gaffer Cleary. Okay, finally moving on to the rating out of 10, I'm going to go with a 7 or 8. I don't know. I reckon. We'll, I don't know. It's an interesting one because I don't think we're going to be all over QPR, but I feel like we'll have more possession and more shots and stuff like that. But I feel like QPR will have the better chances, if that makes sense. Like I feel like we'll be better stats-wise, but QPR will have the better clear-cut chance. I feel like it's going to be a game of just one goal, and I feel like we're going to get that goal. Uh, I reckon it's going to be like an 8 out of 10. Um... I mean, you said 2-0, so it better be a decent yeah, rating. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon we're going to do 2 out of 10. Uh, 8 out of 10. For um, two goals. Yeah. I'm going to say 8 out of 10, I um, think we're going to win quite comfortably, uh, I don't think we're you know, not going to slaughter him or anything, but, um, <laughs> or uh, you know, dominate him, but yeah, I think it'd be a pretty close game, but, I reckon, but you know. We've also got to try and remember that our last away game was Brentford and we lost 4-1, so yeah, maybe a little bit tensitive about going like full guns blazing, but um, yeah, that's going to be for today's video guys, hope you have all enjoyed it, obviously I've been James, I've been Adam, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.